So Notion recently launched a new project management feature, which is useful for databases. And it's focused on projects, tasks, and sprints. However, some of this functionality is currently in beta, and they've made it only available through a specific Notion project management template. And as more people test it, Notion plans to expand this functionality to the main spaces. But you know what? Many of these new features are already available, and they're actually very useful for more than just project management. So in this video, I will show you the Notion project management template, its new and hidden features, how to set it up, and what's missing. But you may be wondering whether to wait or switch to the new enhanced project management template. Let me say upfront, I feel it's better to wait for Notion to add all of the necessary features before making that switch. If you click on the templates button, it'll throw up a suggestion called projects, tasks, and sprints. The new projects and tasks template is included into this one. You can click on the get template button and it'll ask you for your confirmation on which team space you want to add it to. And I've put it into my test area. The template creates four individual pages inside of the workspace. So tasks is the core database that's related to projects and sprints simultaneously. So there are a few new properties that they have added under tasks. Projects is a relation database that rolls up tasks by project and provides a completion progress as a roll up from the tasks database. So project stages have been defined here as planning, in progress, paused, backlog, done, and canceled. They are, however, missing a few logical steps when it comes to project management. And we'll touch upon these later in this video. Sprints gets two pages, a sprint board and a sprint view. Sprint configuration is really new inside of Notion. And that's why the sprint board is actually in beta. So you will notice that Notion has included a guided tour for the sprint board, which is an extremely nice touch. You'll also find a link which says, learn how to use sprints, right below the title. It has three views, the current sprint, sprint planning, and backlog. The fourth page is the sprint view, and it's also in beta. So this is a relation database from tasks, and it has sprint completion defined as a rollup. Let's look under the hood. What we're gonna look at now is all about new features in the template. There's a lot going on. Let's dive in. Number one. So there are a total of three databases in the template, tasks, that's connected to projects and sprints. Using relations, the sprint board is just a linked view of the task database with a board view, a grouped table view, and a table view. Number two, in the tasks database, there's a new property called number. And that, my friends, is automatically assigning a task number to each of the tasks. What's more, you can add a prefix to the task number and it'll include the prefix whenever it's generating a new task. This is a brand new feature that got added to this template. And what's more, this is also available as a new property field across all of your other databases as well. Number three, Notion has added new link properties, such as GitHub, which is a pull request. And it's also connected to other spaces. Those other spaces could be a Figma file, a Google Drive in the template. But currently, you'll find them all hidden. Number four. Notion has introduced three new AI property types to databases, including an AI summary, an AI autofill, and AI key info. These properties allow databases to fill text and summaries from within the page and can be identified by this AI indicator. So I've already created a separate video explaining all of this in greater detail. Links are also in the description. Number five. In this template, Notion has assumed sprints to be sequential, which may not hold for some of your sprints. There is a new guided tour feature, which is extremely useful. And I'm sure that they will bring this across many of their future templates as well. And I do hope that they add this functionality for template creators like me out there. So you can plan your sprints in the sprint planning view and add tasks there directly since it's linked to the tasks database. So Notion just added a new feature called dynamic views. This is brilliant. The current sprint is sprint one. And if we click on this button, it'll complete the sprint and the sprint view name will change to sprint two and so on. When you click on the complete sprint button, it'll specify that next sprint is sprint two with the option to modify the start and end dates. There's another neat feature 
that's regarding the incomplete tasks indicator. Now incomplete tasks can be kept in the current sprint or moved to the next sprint, to backlog or to any other sprint that you may have defined earlier. Moving tasks to backlog is a nice way to chase down specific team members to complete these incomplete tasks quickly so that the project is on track. Team members get updates on tasks and project details they care about through Slack or regular notifications. The timeline view for GAN involving sprints. This show the tasks and their dependencies to each other. So what's missing guys? So despite the fact that there are a number of new features, projects and sprints have a number of missing features. Let's go through some of these that I find critical. First off, we need different dashboard views for project managers, sprint managers and for team members so that they can track their KPIs in one space. The sprints and the project dates don't match if they're on separate pages. They're not linked to each other. I'm not sure, but for strange reasons, the current project management template doesn't seem to have taken advantage of some of the existing functionality that Notion just released over the last few months and some over the years. The buttons and other Kanban boards that they can track tasks, projects and sprints to. Projects are dependent on working days and holidays, not calendar days. And there is something called critical path for project managers. Critical path is an indicator of the minimum time it will take to complete a project or a sprint. And not all tasks form part of that critical path. So if there's a delay that impacts a critical path task, it'll impact the project and the sprint. In the current template, there's no way for the manager to know whether the project is on track or not. Again, buffer time is something that's baked in into any project and into the critical path items to make sure that the project will stay on track as much as possible. In this template, project managers cannot review how much of the buffer time that they've spent or saved. Let's talk about another critical element that's missing in projects, and that's called waiting for, where blocks of tasks are on hold because of a bottleneck or a team member. So when you review the project, you also want to explain the causes for these delays so that you can plan them better in the future. So I wonder how Notion can completely ignore budgets and tracking expenses when they think of projects, sprints and tasks. But I'm still very excited. I did get an email from Ivan, their CEO, mentioning about some of the coming soon functionality. While we've already seen connected properties like GitHub, Figma and Google Drive, the My Tasks view is pulling information now across all the projects and sprints that are defined here. But the feature to pull all of this information across different databases will be really nice, but I think it's difficult to implement for Notion. But we're yet to see two other highlighted functionality. One is centered around quick capture of new ideas and tasks. And the second one is around automations that trigger actions and tasks as task details change. To watch more of these informative videos around Notion and productivity, subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. Till the next video, adios amigos.